Intuitive Explanation of MapReduce MapReduce is a programming framework that uses the divide and conquer approach to handle massive data sets and resource intensive computational tasks. The Hadoop file system, as well as most of the popular big data technologies, are all based on the MapReduce framework. Let's try and intuitively understand how MapReduce works. The problem. Imagine this. You work in a really big company. Your company is planning to launch the next big blogging platform. So you land up at the office one day and there's a mail from your CEO regarding a new project. Dear Frank, as you know, we are building the blogging platform blogger2.com and I need some statistics. I need to find out across all blogs ever written on blogger.com how many times one character words occur, like A or I. How many times two character words occur, like be and is, and so on, till how many times do 10 character words occur? I know it's a really big job, so I will assign all 50,000 employees working in our company to work with you on this project for a week. I'm going on vacation for a week, and it's really important that I have this written when I return. Good luck. Regards, the CEO. P.S. One more thing. Everything has to be done manually except going to the blog and copy-pasting it on Notepad. I read somewhere that if you write programs, Google can find out about it. Picture yourself in that position for a moment. You have 50,000 people working for you for a week, and you need to find out the number of one-character words, two-character words, and so on, covering the maximum number of blogs in Blogspot. Finally, you need to give a report to your CEO with something like this. Occurrence of one character words around 937 688 399 933. Occurrence of two character words around 233 883 838 307 534 34. Hence, fourth till 10. If homicide, suicide, or resigning your job are not options, how would you solve it? How would you avoid the chaos of so many people working together? How will you coordinate since the output of one has just merged with another? You decide to take leave for the day, go home, sleep it over, and the next day wake up with the greatest idea ever. Let there be cast. The next day, you stand with a mic on the dais before the 50,000 employees and proclaim that for a week, they will all be divided into three groups. They are the mappers. Tens of thousands of people will be in this group. The grouper, let's assume just one guy for now. The reducers, around 10 of them. The master, that's you. Then you talk to each of the groups. The mappers, each mapper will get a set of 50 blog URLs and a really big sheet of paper. Each one of them needs to go to each of the URLs for each word in those blogs, write one line on the paper. The format of the line should be the number of characters in the word, then a comma, and then the actual word. For example, if you find the word A, you write 1, comma, A in a new line in your paper. Since the word A has only one character, if you find the word hello, you write 5, comma, hello on the new line. Let's assume they take four days. So after four days, your sheet might look like this. 1, comma, A, 5, comma, hello, 2, comma, if, and a million more lines. And at the end of day four, each of them will give their sheet completely filled to the grouper. The grouper. You will give the grouper 10 papers. The first paper will be marked 1, the second paper will be marked 2, and so on till 10. You collect the output from mappers for each line in the mapper sheet. If it says 1, he writes it on sheet 1. If it says 2, he writes it on sheet 2. For example, if the first line of the mapper sheet says 1, comma, A, you write A on sheet 1. If it says 2, comma, if, you write if on sheet 2. If it says 5, comma, hello, you write hello on sheet 5. So at the end of your work, the 10 sheets you have might look like this. Once you're done, you distribute each sheet to one reducer. For example, sheet 1 goes to reducer 1, sheet 2 goes to reducer 2, and so on. The reducers. 
Each of the reducers gets one sheet from the grouper. For each sheet, they count the number of words written on it and write it in big bold letters on the back of the paper. For example, if you are reducer two and you get sheet two from the grouper that looks like this, you count in number of words on that sheet. Say the number of words is 288-383-844. You write it on the back of the paper in big bold letters and you give it to the master. Controlled Chaos and the Climax At the end of this process, you have 10 sheets. Sheet 1 having the count of the number of words with one character on the back. Sheet 2 having the count of the number of words with two characters on the back. You did it. Genius. This is essentially Map Reduce. The greatest advantage in your approach was that the mappers can work independently. The reducers can work independently. The grouper can work really fast because he didn't have to do any counting of words. All he had to do was to look at the first number and put that word in the appropriate sheet. This process can be easily applied to other kinds of problems as well. In such a case, the work of the master, dividing the work, and the grouper, grouping the values by key, the value before the comma, remains the same. This is what any map reduce library provides. The work of the mappers and the reducers differ according to the problem. You can even optimize this a bit more. For example, if you don't have to mention the words everywhere, you could have just written down X instead of the actual word, since in the end we are just counting, and everything need not happen in a sequence like first mapper, then grouper, and then reducer. Moreover, one person can sometimes do the job of a mapper and some other times the job of a grouper. So you succeed in solving the biggest challenge ever posed to you. After a week, you collect the sheets of paper from the reducers. The back of sheet one will have the number of occurrences of words with one character. The back of sheet two will have the number of occurrences of words with two characters and so on. You put this information in an Excel sheet and take the printout and give it to your CEO with a big smile. He probably says, good job, I'll have a look at it, uh, maybe next week. Despite that though, I hope this has helped you understand the bones of MapReduce and how it works.